Hello. Are you going through big change? Things don't seem familiar anymore. What used to work isn't working. And you're just like, what do I do now? Or maybe you know someone who's experiencing that and you want to support them, but you're not really sure you understand their experience. Either way. This channel was created to document some big changes. And while I didn't make as many videos as I thought I would, the change still happened and the videos happened on Facebook. But what I want to talk about is emotional processing during big changes because that sometimes, sometimes might be putting it mildly, the fastest way to get clear on your next steps. And also to let parts of your body and parts of your experience be seen by you so that they can move on. So real quick, I'll just give you what I've been doing because it's important to me that I've tried everything that I'm telling you about. Although there's gonna be some stream of consciousness too at times as I process and just, I wanna invite you along on the journey because sometimes it helps in my experience if someone else talks about their experience because then I can see what parts apply to me and what parts don't apply to me and through that I get clarity. So a little backstory, back in December, I was coming out of like many years of cancer and before that other just really difficult experiences. And I felt like it was a time where I had to be with myself in a new way. And I didn't know what that was gonna look like. But what started helping me when I hit rock bottom again and I was just like, oh my gosh, like what do I do? And I realized one of the things that helped me during cancer treatment, again, was contrary to what people will tell you a lot. And that that is, oh, be positive, like have high vibes and stuff like that. And this is actually going to help with that. In order to release the things that are holding us down and that f make us feel like we're trapped, I found that the best thing is to be with those feelings. And sometimes we're not used to it and it feels so intense and our mind just keeps trying to make sense of it. Like, oh, what does this mean and what should I do and all this kind of stuff. But you are so powerful by yourself. Like just being is the real work and the actions come from that state of being. And when we're in big change, we don't know how to be. And sometimes we're really afraid that's gonna look really weird and people are gonna judge us or we're gonna judge ourselves and it's not gonna feel good. And that's the other thing that often we think is the most important thing is to feel good. But as, as, a, per, as a human being, we are capable of so much, so much that it's hard for us to even comprehend with our minds. So back to the tip. And I started doing this every morning and throughout the day as it comes up, is I'll just be like, what does my body feel like right now? Is there pressure in my chest? Am I feeling afraid? What is that feeling? Oh, okay, I am feeling afraid or anxious. And it feels like tightness in my chest. My jaw is starting to clench a little bit. I feel achy in my neck. Oh, I feel pressure behind my eyes too. Oh, feels a little release, like a little release just happened. That feels like my chest opened up. Oh, now I feel it's tight again. Oh, now I feel a little giggly. What's happening? Oh no, that doesn't matter what's happening. Wait, what's happening is I feel like something cool just went over my head. 
that feels like release. It feels refreshing. And so on and so forth. And sometimes the feelings are so big that I'm just doing a narrating it in, in my mind with words because that gives a little bit of a container and, and a direction. And then sometimes the feelings are so big that I'm just watching them in my mind. I try to pay attention like, oh, are we going down into the chest? Are we going up into the neck? Are we going into the legs? Oh, my feet. And there's something about just the your pure presence that is going to help to move feelings through the body. Now, I'm going to say if you really, really need help and you can't be in your body or you can't, you know, you're, you're feeling like something is very wrong, like totally get help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. This is something that you can do on your own. And tell me how it feels. Is, is your ability to be with the change different? So that's the quick tip. And the thing is, though, uh, another little disclaimer is being with our feelings is not easy. We live in a world where it's take the emotions out of it, where at least that's how it's been in Mikoopolis, which I'm going to tell you about in a second. Um, there is so much focus on the mind and figuring things out and understanding everything. But when the mind doesn't feel like it's working right or can't figure things out, we often forget that there's so much energy and intelligence in our heart. Now, you might be like, oh, that's pretty woo-woo. And by some stand standards, it is. I've come to the place personally, and I imagine if you're still watching this that you've been there too or are there right now, where you realize that everything we've been taught does not give us the tools for the change we, we're experiencing right now. And that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel bad. And feeling bad, if we really drill down a bit, like what does that mean? It's just, is it pressure? Is it an ache? Like what is it in the body? Because oftentimes the mind says we're supposed to feel a certain way based on everything we've always been taught. And the feelings that match the state of being that we've been taught to be. But when we're going into a whole new state, then the mind doesn't know what's going on and the heart is really processing big feelings that you are now strong enough and capable enough, even though it doesn't always feel like it, to process just with your pure attention. And that will guide you to the next steps, which may be to call somebody um, it may be to write out your feelings on your phone or on paper, or it might be to create something, or it might be a breakthrough in your work. Like whatever that next action is, it's going to come from a more expanded space where you've processed things beyond figuring them out. You've processed them just by observing. And there's so much power in just observing. But sometimes I realize this whole process can feel way overwhelming. And so what helped me is to start giving this a container, which is the virtual world we will call Mikoopolis. And bear in mind, this virtual world started with just the visualization or trying to give something a name. And then slowly it developed over time to where I started to bring it into reality through the digital space, through the internet. And I want to invite you to go on this journey with me and help me or watch as an observer the creation 
of Mikoopolis and make it something amazing because that's how much I believe in the power of your presence and your contribution to this world is that just by you looking and just by you giving feedback, it's going to change the shape of Mikoopolis. And Mikoopolis is on a journey from just being in the mind space and thinking I need to figure everything out or being too scared to be in the heart space and hiding in my mind to moving into the space that is the heart and the mind and whatever else we discover is here too. So if you want to follow the journey right now, the best place is mikohargett.com. That's M-I-K-O-H-A-R-G-E-T-T dot -T com. And if you're feeling like exploring self-care on Facebook, there's a group too, and it's called Miko Care. Super easy to remember. And we're going to start exploring more and more tools. Right now it's a lot of meme therapy <laughs> and just people sharing what's speaking to them, what's helping them. You're welcome to share whatever you like that is helping you in your self-care. And self-care is not selfish. Self-care is not selfish. It's what you do already probably at different levels to be your best so you can live a good life. And the better your self-care is, the better you're able to function and contribute to society and to get the results that you want. And the results are going to look different for everyone. So that was my vlog for today. One of my commitments is to keep showing up on YouTube, hopefully every day, and share what's helping me and do my best to create a little uniqueness for my corner of Mikoopolis. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one.